Hi guys and welcome to my channel and thanks for stopping by and watching. In this spray paint art video I'll be trying out the AKA Colours Writer's Series spray paint to see what it's like for spray paint art. The AKA Colours Writer's Series spray paint comes in a 400ml can and has a low pressure valve system. It comes with a universal cap, the lacquer base is hybrid mix of acrylic and synthetic, it is a matte finish and there are around 220 colours in the range. The price per can may vary depending on what country you live in. In the UK it's around £3.95 a can. And the colours I'll be using are sulphur yellow, turquoise blue, black and white. Right, before I go any further, I'd just like to say these are my own thoughts and findings about how well the AKA Colours writer series spray paint works for making spray paint art so the first thing i'm going to do is a cap test to see how the cap sprays so i'll be using the stock cap that comes with the cans in this video which is a universal cap and i'll be doing the cap test on a four inch wide piece of glossy card right then before you use the cans make sure you give them a good shake for at least two minutes each and when you get them, the caps won't be on top of the cans, they'll be in something like this, a plastic bag or something. The reason for that is, if the caps were on the cans, they could easily press down and spray everywhere while in transit. So I'll be doing the cap test with the black spray paint. So when you get the cans, they'll come like this, with no cap on them. So mine come in this plastic bag, one cap in each bag. So all you have to do is, pull it out of the bag, or whatever they're sending to you and then you just press the cap lightly on top of the top on top of the can so it's like that so I'll just move this can out of the way before we start and I'll just pull some black paint through the cap So this is the first time I'm going to be using the AKA Colours Writer Series spray paint. So I'm not sure how it's going to spray like. So the first thing we'll do is a cap test on this piece of glossy card here. As you saw there, the cap produced a nice thin line and didn't let too much paint out, which is good. So I'll just give you a closer look at that. Now the cap test is out of the way, I'm going to see what it's like to paint with. So for this space painting I'll be using glossy card which is A2 in size. And the materials I'll be using are some lid stencils. These are just the lids off food tubs, different size ones. I'll be using a pallet knife, this is to sign the painting with at the end. I'll be using a metal paint scraper. I'll be using this food tub, which is a cone shaped food tub that I put an hole in the bottom. And I'll be using some plastic sheets. These are from a bag that I've cut up so it's easier to use. These are going to be used to make a texture on the planet and in the background of a painting. So the first thing we'll do is place the lid stencils where you want your planet. So I think I'll have a big one here, I'll have one down here, and I think one there, something like that. And then we'll get a colour and spray around the lid stencils to give you an outline of where your planets are going to go. So I'm going to use the sulphur, which is a yellow. So I'll just pull some through the cap. And all we're going to do is spray around the lids. Where the lid's all sprayed round, I'm just going to test the cap and the pressure on the cans. So I'll press the cap down lightly now. That comes out nice, Not doesn't let too much paint out. Now I'll press it down all the way. 
still doesn't let too much paint out quite like these caps just a few more that's nice oh we've got a blocked cap here clogged lock well, that's not very good let me just see if I can unclog it no nope. well, I might do No, nothing. Oh, that's a shame. See all the paints there in there. Let's give it a bit of a shake, the can. Try it upside down, see if anything comes out. No, nothing. So this cap's completely blocked somewhere. It's gonna have to sit by one to one side now. As you can see, the block, the cap's blocked, and then filled this up inside with a lot of yellow paint. So I'm just gonna clean that out with it. So now I'm down to three caps. So I'm gonna have to use. I'm gonna use the two colours. I'm gonna swap them between each ones. So I just pull some more yellow through. Right, so that's working again now. So I'll just try a cap again. So light. Quite like this valve system. The caps are all right as well. I quite like the caps, but it's just a shame that one's blocked up so early. It's only had a few sprays out of it, which is, I don't know why it's blocked up. The cap could be a bit dodgy or something. We'll see as the video progresses to see if any of the other caps block up. But I'm quite liking the valve system on this. Nice and soft to press. And the cap working pretty good. Doesn't let too much paint out. So now we've got the outlines around the lids. We'll take them off for later on. And then what we'll do now is fill the outlines in with some colours. So I think first of all I'll add a bit of blue. So like I said, I'm going to have to be swapping the caps between the two colours. So you press the cap down real as far as it goes, it comes out real nice, this paint. Press it all the way. Now some yellow on it. And then some black on this side. And some white, I'll just pull the white through. So there are the colours on the planet. So I'll get a sheet of the plastic from the bag that I've put up. We'll just crunch it up to make some lines in it. Some crinkles and that. You end up with something like that. Then we'll just place it over the wet paint and give it a light rub. And then pull it off to reveal your texture. So quite a lot of texture on that one. So I'm gonna leave that like that. So now I'm gonna move on to do the highlights and shadows. So I'll do the highlights first with the white, this side. See what it's like for misting. So we're just going to press the cap real light here to do like a mist effect. I like that, it's giving a right good, nice mist effect there on the planet. Now we'll go to the black and do the shadowed area. I do like this pressure in these cans, the valve system, quite nice. Doesn't let too much paint out, which is good. So that's that one planet done. Now we'll move on to these two here. I think I'll do this bottom one first. So I think a bit of yellow first. So 
bit of blue. Some black there. And some white there. I'll get another sheet of plastic. And what I'm going to do for this one is fold it in half and then half again. So you have something like this, and all I'm going to do is turn this on the wet paint. I'm just going to fold so I get a clean piece. I think I'll just turn it again there. So I quite like how that texture is on that planet, so I'm going to leave that like that. In fact, I'm just going to get some of this as a bit of a build up of paint there. I'm just going to take this piece off here, take a bit more off. That's better. So now I'll move on to do the highlights and shadows on it. So with the white, pressing the cap lightly, I'll do the highlights here. Nice mist there. The are lights and now the black, the shadowed area. So I like that, so I'm going to leave that one. So that's the eye light and shadows done on that one. Now I'm going to move on to this one up here. So I think I'm going to put some yellow first. A couple of lines of yellow. And then some blue, turquoise, now some black for the shadowed area, and some white, and I get another clean piece of the plastic, crunch it up, this time I'm going to crunch it up but pull it away from me like this. So it gives you a different pattern on your plastic or whatever you're using. So we'll just place it over wet paint and give it a rub. I like the texture on there. Nice texture there. And the blues and yellows have mixed a bit, so there's a bit of it's mixed, so it's a bit of a greeny colour as well, which I quite like. So now we'll move on to the highlights and shadows on it. The highlights here, this side, and then the shadowed area at the back. I really like this valve system on these and the caps. Considering one block, this is a really nice caps to use, I think. Don't let too much paint out at all. Gives it like a nice fade in effect on the black and that, not too much black. And the mist on the planet are nice. So now we've got all the highlights and shadows on, it's time to put the lid stencils back on. But ideally, you want the paint to be dry before doing that. Because if the paint's still wet and you place your lid stencils on top, then the lid stencils will stick to the wet paint. So when you lift them off later on, there'll be like a ring on your planet where the lid's dug into the wet paint. And when you pull the lid off, it pulls some of the paint back off with it. But for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to go ahead and place the lid stencils on while the paint is still wet. But looking at this paint here, this is almost dry on the outside. This one is as well. Which I'm quite surprised at. Seems to be a real fast drying paint. So we'll get the lid stencils. I'll get a big one first. Place it on your painting where the lids go in. Your planet. So just make sure you've got a bit of a shadow in the highlighted area underneath the lid. So I think we're going to have that one. There. And this one down here. We're going to have. There. And then the last one I'm going to put here, um, I think I'll have that one there, like that. 
So that's all the lid stencils on and now we're going to move on to the background. So first of all I'm going to add some colours to it. I think I might just put a bit of galaxy or something here in the middle. So first of all I'm going to give it yellow. So I'll just swap the cap over. Put a bit of yellow in the middle. See, I'm pressing the cap down real light, lightly here. I think this cap's a bit clogged up, like the other one did. Yeah, that one's clogged now. I'm not sure why it's doing that. Let's just go back to this other one, the clogged before. No, it's still clogged. Oh, that's popped off. That's definitely blocked. This one's blocked as well. Oh, see the lid's just flown off there under pressure. So the lid's definitely blocked on there as well. That's a real shame that I've had two of these block up, clog up. It might be because I'm spraying the paint like this. Horizontally instead of vertically like this. For the caps don't like. So now I'm down to two caps here. So I'm going to have to swap these round. So there's more chance of them clogging here now because I'm swapping them between three different colours now. So I'm using the white one now, so I'm going to go to a blue now, add a bit of blue to it. Hopefully I can get to the end of the video without all of them blocking up. So now we've got some colours down, I'm going to cover it in the black, over with some black. So I'm pressing the cap down all the way here, so not really laying too much paint out, which is good. Just be careful when you go around your lid stencil, spray a bit lighter, so you get no leaking underneath, no overspray. So that's some black over colours, so I'm going to get another piece of a plastic sheet. I'm just going to place it on like we did the planet, just to make some texture in the background. I think I'll have a bit there. Go to a clean piece. A bit there. And another clean piece. So you get too much black on these pieces of plastic or your magazine paper, anything like that. And then you keep pressing it on, you're just going to spread the black from one area and put it over colours. So crunch it up a bit, just put a bit more texture in here. A bit more there. See, so you've got the black here, so you push it on and then you just put more black over the colour you've just pulled off. So I'm liking the way that looks, so I'm going to leave that like that. Now with the black, I'm going to fill the rest of the sheet in, black. So I'll go around the lid stencil first, lightly. And then fill this side of the sheet in. Yeah, but these caps are not laying too much paint out. It seems to dry real fast. Right, so that's all the sheet done black now. So I'm going to add some colours, like some mist around this galaxy here. So I think the first one I'm going to do is some blue. So I'm just going to press the cap down lightly, the same as I did the mist on the planet here, on the highlighted sides. So I'm just going to put a bit of blue either side first. So, just lightly press it. 
Well, I like that, that's given a nice mist. I think I'll just put a bit there, a bit of colour around here in the background. So I like the way that worked, the mist, real nice mist off these caps. Not sure if it's a yellow because that's blocked straight away. Let me give this yellow a good shake. I need more of a shake. Try that. No, still seems to be a bit blocked this yellow. Let's try the blue. Yeah, so the blue's the blue is working fine through this cap. Let's try the yellow again. I'm not seeing any blocks up. So that, could be a bit of pressure in the can, can might not lose pressure or something, I'm not sure why that's happening. Right, let's just try it anyway. So I'm just going to put a bit of yellow in places. Now that's it. Let's swap it back. See, that's working fine. On the blue, back to the yellow. Oh, I think it's working all right now. All right, well, I'm not sure why it's doing that. But I'm gonna put that cap to one side, so that's the third one. I'm gonna use this black one now. So that's spitting a bit. Well, that's just me. Wipe the nozzle. I think I might go back over this with some blue in a minute. Put the yellow down first. I have a blue. You can always go over parts, back over black in a minute. Bit of yellow. So I'm just going to go back with the black in places, fade some of the colours out. Oh no. This one seems to be blocked as well. Yeah, it's not spraying as good as it was. Well, I'm just gonna have to carry on with this. Right, just get it black in places. I hope I can finish this off, this painting. I think I'm going to have to leave the background like this. I'm 
I'm really not sure why this these are clogging up. I've shook the cans for at least two minutes each. I'm not sure what to do now, because this one isn't spraying very well. Well, I just have to carry on. Just gonna have to carry on with it. See what I can do. I'm just gonna add a bit more blue, I think, here on the edges. Bit up here, bit down here. So I'm going to leave a background like that because these caps, I've got three clogged here, I've got this one not working very well, so I'm going to leave a background like this. So what I'm going to do now is going to add some small stars to the painting. So for this I'm going to use a white spray paint and I'm going to spray some on my fingers here. end up with it like that on your fingers then what you want to do is when you spray some on your fingers flick it away from the painting a few times to get most of the paint off your fingers and then flick the rest onto the sheet this way you won't get big white blobs on your painting that don't look like stars so spray a bit of white paint on your fingers flick it away a few times and then flick the rest onto the sheet to make your small stars you can add as many stars as you want to your painting, it's entirely up to you. I'm going to add a couple more there at the bottom. A few here at the top. So I think I'll do for the small stars. Now we have the small stars in the painting. I'm going to add a big star to it. I'm going to put it somewhere here, I think. So I'm not sure how this is going to work because the cap's not spraying that well. I've set them down to one cap here. So we're going to use a white spray paint and the metal paint scraper. So what you want to do is when you spray the white, spray it in the middle of a scraper somewhere here as the overspray will be producing the lines on your stars. So we'll get the paint scraper and place it by your painting where you want your star to be. I'm gonna have one here. So you just spray it against the scraper and the overspray will make the line. Just keep an eye out for a build up of paint on your scraper because if it's too much it can run off and leave white, big white blobs on your painting. So it might be always best to wipe the scraper every time you do a line to avoid the paint running off and dripping onto your painting. <clears throat> With this cap not spraying very well, I'm gonna have to go over these lines a couple of times, I think. Gonna make this line a bit bigger. And then we'll do the other lines. Doesn't matter if you take your time and you're painting, there's no rush, just take your time and enjoy while you're painting. So like I said, it takes a bit longer wiping the scraper every time you spray a line. But I'd rather do that than get big white blobs all over the painting. Just gonna make this other line a bit longer as well. So there are three lines here, I'm just gonna add the fourth one here. Again. 
Just going to go back over these, I think. One quick time, make them a bit more whiter. See that almost dripped off then. See right on the edge of a scraper there. I was quite lucky there that he didn't drop off and land on the painting. So I think what I'll do for the lines for the star, and now I'm going to add some white in the middle. I'm just going to spray straight out of the cap, put a white dot in the middle of the star. So I'm just going to see what it's like to spray the dot with. I know this cap isn't working right. And the other three are clogged, so I'm just going to have to work with it. Because I've got no other caps to put on. Because I only bought four cans and got four caps with them. They seem to make a big dot. If you press the cap down real light. There's a smaller dot. Close you get to a sheet, the smaller the dot will be. But then the paint will pull more. So I think that should be all right to do it. Spray straight out of a cap into the middle. It's only one way to find out, and that's to try it. So make sure the cap is lined up with up where all the lines cross over in the star. And then just try and get in the middle. So I quite like how that's turned out. But looking at it, I might just extend these lines a bit more, I think. Just make it look a bit bigger of a star. So I'm just going to do each line. So one there. This one here. One there. And just this one a bit more. They're not the best lines, they're a bit rough, but that's because the cap's not spraying right. And I've got to go over them more than once. Normally, just once. Or maybe twice and you get a nice line but with this not spraying right I've got to go over it a few times so they don't look the best in fact I might just do a couple of lines somewhere else I might just put a few small stars somewhere I think I might have one here I might just do a cross star here just two lines yeah I think just here a small one so straight in the middle I quite like how them lines have turned turn out. See, so you just spray once or twice, get a lot neater lines. I think I'm going to put one up here as well, I think. Yeah, I quite like how them smaller stars have turned out. Quite like the lines on them. And with the cap not working right and not letting, too, letting much paint out, the lines are nice and thin. And they do look like smaller stars than this one here, which are quite like that. So with the big star added and these smaller stars, I'm going to add one more different type of star in. And this star I'm going to be making with this cone-shaped food tub with the hole in the bottom. So for this one, all we're going to do is spray some colours through the top and out the bottom. And he'll make smaller stars than the big star, but bigger stars than the ones we flicked on with our fingers. So first of all, I'm going to do a colourful star, so I'm going to use a blue. And 
I think I'm going to put one here. So just hold the cone shaped object about an inch above your painting. And then we're just going to spray straight through it and through the hole at the bottom. So then it gives you something like that. I think I'll have one up here. Yeah? And I'm going to have a couple of yellow ones, I think, as well. A couple of coloured yellow ones. So I'm going to have one down here. So just spray it. Like that, so you get a small yellow dot there. I'm going to have one up here, I think. The further you away you hold this cone shaped object from a painting, the bigger it'll be. The closer you get, the smaller it'll be. So now we've got a bit of colour for the stars. We're going to get a white. And what we're going to do is just spray a bit in the middle of each of these coloured stars. So we'll get closer to the painting, which is going to press the cap real light. So you get a bit of white in the middle. So we look like glowing stars. And you can also put some white stars in, so just the same as when we added the colours, hold it about an inch above your painting and just spray through it. I think I'll have a couple here. One up here. So I think that I'll do for them stars. And what I'm going to do, I'm also going to use this cone shaped object to put a small dot in the middle of these two here. So I'm going to hold it a bit further away here because I want a bigger circle. So quite like that. And then do the same on this one. Hold it further away. Not quite like that. So you can also use this to do the white in the middle of your stars. You could always use this to do it in the middle of these big stars. If your caps are spraying too big of a dot, you can just get that and just spray it from a distance and you'll make a white dot in the middle of your stars. So that's all the stars added to the painting. I quite like the way we've turned out. I really like these two smaller stars here. I like the lines on them. I like the dot in the middle of a big star. The lines are all right, but because I had to go over them two or three times, they do look a bit messed, they're not as neat as I wanted them. But, but it's just trial and error, these are the first time I've used these cans and the caps. Quite like the other stars and I like the colours in the background. So with that, we'll move on to the next part of the painting. And this is where we take the lid stencils back off the painting to reveal your planets for the first time. So like I said, I put the lid stencils on when the paint was still a bit wet. So hopefully these haven't stuck to the paint. So if the lids have stuck to the wet paint, you might see a bit of a ring on some of the planets, depending whether the lid's stuck or not. So the first lid I'm going to take off is this big one here. So that's slightly stuck, but not much. So just take your time when you're lifting them. It was just slightly stuck that, but not that much. So now I'll move on to this one. This one's a bit stuck, but not much. Like I said, just take your time lifting them. Now I'll move on to this last one. That wasn't really stuck, just slightly on the back edge. So they're all the lid stencils off, and I'm really happy with the way these planets have turned out. I really like the colours in them, and I like the textures on each of the planets. Each planet's slightly different from the other. And as you saw, the lids did stick a bit, but it hasn't pulled up any of the paint, which I'm surprised at with it being a bit stuck. But I'm really happy with these planets, I really like them. Right then, there's just one more thing to do before the painting's finished, and that is to sign your name. I know at the beginning of the video I said I was going to sign it with a palette knife, but this is all dry, this is. 
I can touch it, rub it, this paint is completely dry. So using the pallet knife won't work because it won't dig into a wet paint because the paint's dry now. So if this does happen, you can always use a white paint pen, white marker pen, anything like that to sign your name with. So I'm going to be using the white paint, paint pen. And all I'm going to do is just sign my name here in the corner. I'm really glad that one of the caps lasted till the end so I could finish the painting off because I don't know what I'd have done if a cap had clogged up near the end of a painting. I'd have just had to finish the painting there which would have been a shame because I really like the way it's turned out. So I think the AKA Colours Writer Series worked well for spray paint art. The universal cap that came with the cans worked really well until they got clogged. The caps also didn't let too much paint out which is good. I think the clogging issue with the caps was caused by the yellow spray paint. They seemed to clog up while I was using that. So I'm going to test the yellow spray paint on the last cap that was still sort of working to see what happens. Keep watching till the end of the video to see if it's a yellow spray paint that was the issue and not the caps. If I was going to use the AKA Colours Writer Series for spray paint art, I think I would give the Universal cap another go, but change the yellow for another colour, as I think that is why the cap's clogged up. If the clogging issue did continue with other colours, then I would just change the caps on the cans to something like a skinny cap. The paint also dried very fast which can be a good thing but it can also be a bad thing as sometimes you want the paint to stay a little wet while you do certain techniques. The low pressure valve system gave a good control over how much paint came out when pressing the cap down with different pressures. It may just take a bit of practice getting used to the pressure and how far to press the cap down when doing different things but overall I enjoy painting with the AKA Colours Writer Series spray paint I really liked how the painting has turned out. I found it nice to use and the colours I chose were also nice. And also, just remember to take your time, enjoy while you're painting, and let each layer stage dry before moving on to the next. Right, I'll just give you a closer look of a painting. What I'm going to do, I think, is I'm just going to move this out of the way for a second. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to get a piece of another piece of glossy card. I'm just going to go through these caps. This one is still working. This one, because I think it could be this yellow paint that's clogged these these other three caps up. These caps here. So the white paint spraying fine. So I'll use a black. So the black's coming out all right. Not as good as it did at the start, because this has got slightly clogged. Bit of a build up of paint around the nozzle and everything, because I swapped it around all four of the cans. We're still spraying. Let's try this blue colour. So the blue seems to spray alright. As well. So as you saw we worked alright in the blue, the white and the black. So now let's move to the yellow. And there we go, it's clogged straight away, see nothing, there nothing at all through this yellow one. So I'm pretty sure the only reason why these caps clogged up the way they did was because of this yellow paint. 
I'm not sure sure why you did it. I give these all the same amount of shaking time, over two minutes each. I'm still shocking while in the video, so I'm not really sure why it was just this yellow paint. Could be a lot thicker than the rest. I'm not really sure. But I just wanted to show you this at the end because that was what I was thinking when I was painting the painting. There was something to do with this yellow can. So I wanted to show you that the other colours were spraying fine through the cap. And this yellow one was the one that was clogging up the caps. So I'll just give this one last one go. I'm just going to go. I think that's a clogged one of it. That's produced nice thin lines there. Yeah, I quite like how it's done that lettering. I just thought I'd do that at the end. So I hope you found the information in this video helpful and enjoyed watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for stopping by and watching. I hope to see you all in the next spray paint art video. Have a great day. Take care and bye for now.